When the girls come in here and they're young, I tell them never say you can't do it, because you can. You haven't tried, and if you don't try, you don't know if you can do it or not. In their 90s now, some of the original Rosie the Riveters are still leading the fight for gender equality. Rosie the Riveter became a media icon and a symbol for the millions of women who stepped into jobs at shipyards and factories during World War II. And appropriately, during Women's History Month, today is Rosie the Riveter Day. KTV's Greg Lee spoke with two of the original Rosies about their legacy and the ongoing efforts for equity in the workplace. This is just out of the world. Uh, we just wanted to do a job for, for our country. On National Rosie the Riveter Day, two of the original Rosies who call the Bay Area home remain modest about the incredible role they played in history. The iconic Rosie the Riveter represents the women who worked in factories and shipyards during World War II, their work breaking barriers and extending well beyond the war. Let's keep encouraging them. There's the women in the White House. There's women all over working important jobs. These Rosies, Marion Wynn and Marion Suze, received a visit from the White House at the Rosie the Riveter World War II Homefront National Historic Park in Richmond. Where we're talking with women who are, you know, in the construction industry and really facing challenges being the minority in those jobs and then thinking and, and having the experience with the Rosies where they're, they're talking about the path-breaking work that they did. U.S. Department of Labor Women's Bureau Director Wendy Chun Hoon thanked Wynn and Souza for their contributions. She also held a round table with local trades groups working to connect more women to construction jobs. We get the word out to these women that the trades exist and then help uh, provide them career opportunities and pathways to get into these trades. The fact that we still haven't created the change in construction culture that we really need to have to make sure that construction sites are welcoming to not just women but all all sorts of diversity. Chun Hun vowing help from the federal government to get women into jobs created by the bipartisan infrastructure law. She also acknowledged the challenges that caused a disproportionate number of women to leave the workforce during the pandemic. We have to understand that the jobs that allow all of us to go to work are the, are the care jobs that we're talking about, that women predominantly are in those jobs. And we have a huge opportunity to really think holistically as a country. While encouraging these tradeswomen to keep pushing, the Rosies sending this message to the new generation of women in the workforce. And we need equality, equal, equal. We're not the ones to walk two steps behind. We'll stop, we'll walk with you, but not behind you anymore. Greg Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News.